dames, dames en heren. Zou ik uh, uw aandacht komen voor de persconferentie van de wedstrijd van de dames? Dames en heren, ik wil graag uw, uh, uw aandacht vragen voor de persconferentie. We sluiten de deur naar de corridor. Ze kunnen tegen op de corridor vragen om naar binnen te komen als zij de persconferentie willen volgen. Dank u. Ik geef graag het woord aan Jeroen Poort voor de persconferentie van de wedstrijd voor vandaag. Jeroen. Thank you very much, everyone. Welcome to the press conference. Take something to drink because it's very hot here, especially on the lights. Uh, Bo, our coach, welcome. And a special welcome to the coach of the Selbel Wolver, Henry Tone. Uh, first, we want to know your reaction of this very exciting match. Yeah, good evening to everyone. Congratulations to Bo and his team on the win. Um, it was a, I thought it was a very good hockey game, very intense. Uh, Tilburg came out of the dressing room in the first period a little bit better, and that was the difference in the game. Starting the 20th minute or so, we were into the game a little bit better, but they came out on fire. They, they knew what they needed to do today, and um, yeah, they were physical from the start, and that made it tough for us. And then on a couple of chances we had in the first period, we weren't able to to get that, that goal that we needed in the first period and that made the difference. You know, we had some like two, three chances in the first period. And when you're on the road against a good team like Tilburg, you need to, to put that puck in the net. But uh, we fought until the end and made it close. And with a little bit of luck, we might have still scored that third one and see what happens in overtime. But it didn't, today, that, that was uh, Tilburg's thing. And then we'll see in two days. I'm sure it'll be the same exciting match it was today. We don't like overtime. We don't like overtime. Oh, your reaction, please. Yeah. Uh, good, e uh, good evening, everybody. Yeah, it's pretty much like uh, Rhea said. Uh, it's, we came out uh, really well in the first. Uh, we controlled the game and uh, we had the upper hand. Uh, in the second, we had a lot of big chances to put it away, to go up, you know, three, four, five goals. And like it's, you know, our habit, we don't score those chances and, uh, and then make a couple individual mistakes to, uh, to let the team, you know, come back into the game. And then, you know, at the end, it's a couple minutes left, and it's a one-goal hockey game. You know, they're a good, good experienced hockey team. You know, they have a lot of uh, smart players that uh, can read the play pretty good, and uh, we got to stay away from uh, turning the puck over and make sure we play the same way we play the first half of the game. I think that's the most important. Uh, it's a you know, one-one game, one-one series now, and uh, it's going to be a whole, uh, whole different game again on Tuesday. It's a, it's a good pace hockey. You know, like I said, there's two teams battling it out, and uh, looking forward to the next game. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a quarter final, you know, only the best teams are here. Uh, Mr. Toe, um, I saw in the second period, I, I thought that you were not so happy with some decisions of the referee. Um, coaches are never happy with the referee. <laughs> it's our job. Um, no, we, uh, I'm, I'm sure we try and work on the referees a little bit too, to, to get calls for our side. That's part of the job. Um, you know, it's tough to play against a team like Tilburg. He was letting things go on, the, on both sides, and that's okay, but it's tough to play and win against a team like Tilburg when they're allowed to hold or, or do something, especially in front of the net, you know, when you have a chance. And because, that, because of that, they're too big and too strong, and um, that's what we were, we wanted to say our, our piece, and, uh, but it's forgotten, like it's, it's, it's part of the game. Both tried to do it too, the whole game, so uh, it's not just me, it's also your coach. <laughs> Okay, and after the match, all friends. Um, it's the first time you played here. How do you like it here, in Holland? It's warm. Yeah. <laughs> Very warm. I was going to take off my shirt and during the, in the second period. No, it's it's a beautiful rink. The the, the atmosphere and the sound, even in warm up, uh, the whole bench was shaking from from the bass and the, the sound, and the people were were very loud, and our fans were loud. It's um, sorry about. They were, the, the fans get impatient sometimes. I know you guys had a big thing today, um, saying goodbye to a player, but the fans drive 10 hours in a bus and we have to take our hats off to the fans that do stuff like that. Like they get on a bus for 10 hours. Same with the Tilbury fans that came up, they get in a car for 10 hours and they get a little impatient. It's part of, of being a fan, I think. And uh, I want to take my hat off to my captain today who came on, on the ice um, to quiet our fans down, to let you uh, finish your, your your thing, um, that was really nice. <laughs> that was a good thing. Bo, uh, last question for you. Uh, what do you thought when it became 3 1, 3 2? It was hot, we were all sitting and thinking, oh no. 
<laughs> but in anything, well, like, like I mentioned, we got a, uh, you know, uh, we let teams come back in the game with uh, made too many cross ice passes. Where we talked about it, we should not do that anymore at, uh, at that young time of the game, and uh, they picked off one, uh, scored on that, uh, and then you know, an icing. Well, was it icing or not? We still have to play that face off a lot better, and they, they, they got into it. But I think other than us, you know, turning the pucks over, that's where they got most of their chances. If you don't turn those pucks over, then uh, we, we're doing just fine. So we got to be uh, a little better on the puck management, and uh, you know, they still had a trust in our team to win the game. You know, it's uh, we did have the upper hand, upper hand uh, most of the game, so it's uh, you know, we cannot just start panicking just because they scored two goals. <laughs> Never panic, though. Thank you, uh, Mr. Tom. We wish you are a good day. I'm not rising. And one thing is sure, if you win or if you lose, Thursday we see each other again. Thank you very much. I'm Leo Dunkel, and I'm Tony Zondag.